Hi friends, let's begin utility. And we can use utility to, in two categories, cardinal utility and ordinal utility. But before starting cardinal and ordinal utility, first we understand what do you mean by utility. So utility is the ability of something to satisfy needs or wants. And in our economics, utility is an important concept because it represents satisfaction experienced by the consumer of a good. So important concepts of utility, number one is total utility, marginal utility. Total utility means it is a sum total of utility derived from the consumption of all units of a commodity. And marginal utility means additional. Marginal means change. It refers to the additional unit obtained due to the consumption of an additional unit of commodity. It can be positive, zero or negative and negative. I will take an example of chapati. If somebody is consuming first chapati, if the person is hungry and he is consuming first chapati, that will give maximum satisfaction. In the second, when he is consuming second chapati, it will giving lesser as comparatively to the first chapati, it will give lesser satisfaction than the third, fourth, fifth, and at the one point when the person when he is consuming any chapati and this utility will be zero. But somebody is forcing him, okay, you can consume one more chapati. He can forcefully, he can consume it, but that will not give him any utility and that would be towards the negative side. Might be possible he is uh, uh, facing some pukish or he is facing some such kind of, uh, uh, such, su such kind of problem where is uh, he is not feeling well after consuming that one is the extra chapati so we can see here this one is the schedule and it's reflecting the same thing units units means we are talking about chapati 1 2 3 4 5 6 or we can say in english bread total utility you can see 8, 14, 18, and marginal utility 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, minus 2. I'm just explaining you when the person is consuming first chapati or uh, first uh, any, any piece of commodity, it's giving 8 utility. Second, 14, right? Th that is total. And 13, the third one is 18, fourth chapati 20, 5, 20, and 6, 18. But marginal utility means First chapati has given 8 utility. Second chapati, 6. So 8 and 6 become 14. Total utility means 14. Third chapati gives 4 units, 4, 4, 4 uh, uh, points of satisfaction. So here is, this one is 14 plus 4, 18. Fourth one, we can see here, 2. Only 2 satisfaction. So, this one is the 18 plus 2 is 20. Fifth one, again, 0. I mean, fifth chapati, that is giving 0 satisfaction. So, 20 plus 0, 20. And when a person is consuming sixth one, so sixth one means here is, you can see, minus 2. So, 20 minus 2, 18. You can see here, this is the curve of all these uh, uh, utility schedule. Total utility, you can see this one is keep on rising. And at this point, that is fifth chapati. That is, you can see, total utility is 20. You can see at fifth, 20. I'm just taking my time. Fifth one is 20. And same thing that is reflecting here also. You can see that is 20. After that, that is reducing. Now you can see it is sloping downwards. That is 18. And now this, this shows this shows total utility and this curve, marginal utility curve. And now you can see when the person is consuming first chapati, you can see what is utility. You can see first chapati utility is 8. Right. When the person is consuming second chapati, now you can see. I mean, I think this number should be here. 8 must be here. And that must be in between. Right. So, that is giving, might be 6. 
sixth grade and and all so on so this is reflecting marginal utility and now we come to the two categories of utility cardinal utility and ordinal utility so first we will discuss about cardinal cardinal utility is a view of utility measurement based on the presumption that the satisfaction of wants and needs in a quantifiable characteristics of human activity in other words the utility can be measured in numerical value means we are saying utility can be measured in terms of 1 2 3 5 in terms of numbers on a scale but before 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 accepting this we can say important assumptions are cardinal measurability of utility hypothesis of independent utilities constancy of the marginal utility of money and introspective method marginal utility of money that is called means in terms of money this rule is not applicable means the money is the thing when the people having more money more it gives more satisfaction that is never declining it's always rising so in that case we are assuming there would be constancy of the marginal utility of money and rest of these thing we will discuss in my next video and i hope this video will be useful to you what is utility what is total utility marginal utility and how we can reflect what is utility schedule you can see and how we can draw in the curve total utility marginal utility and after that cardinal utility rest of these things i mean further we will discuss law of diminishing marginal utility ordinal utility and other things related to utility i hope for the economics student this video would be helpful so keep watching and stay tuned thank you